Yes. One, can, can I just say one more thing? Yes. Uh, I joined a gym, and the gym I go to is Body of Downs, and they deal with a lot of Parkinson's patients. And to see these people and see them do what they do is is inspirational. So because of that, I've been trying to volunteer more to help help the gym help them. Only time, thing, every time you, you know. volunteer, be an instrument because then you become volunteer if you're responsible. I give so much help, they are not using it. <laughs> you're frustrated. Mm -hmm. So without string attached, give. So I consider the difference between helping and serving. Mm -hmm. So read through the books like that. Mm -hmm. Christine, so the, this I'm one just, family, yes. the whole family, right here. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then Ian. And then Tom comes, parents, their uh, <coughs> nun, uh, when that aunt who was a nun came the year who passed away. Go ahead, Christine. Um, I've been seeing Shanti now for at least three years. I think it will be four now. And um, I have to say, just you talking about all the changes that you're making and just how easy you're flowing with everything is an inspiration. It really is. Yes. I think of my mom and dad stuck on certain things and I'm watching you change all of these things in your life and you're very happy about it and it's great to see. Yes. It's really nice. Yes. So teaching is not intellectual teaching. My teaching is my being, my life. You know? And I'm not fanatic. Yoga doesn't do miracles. See? It's a reality. Yoga doesn't cure everything. There are so many people, you know, healing and curing. They're in illusion. Our body is body, it follows physical laws. Our mind is mind. And because of our karma, we have inherited certain things. You know, so because of that, uh, we inherit certain things. Yoga cannot cure everything. Only this life is in body and life is in becomes instrument so that we can use it for finding joy. Okay, so it's not torturing the body or not indulgence. It's just flowing with life and joy. Thank you. And Ian, another cool man finally. <laughs> mostly private class and session here, but I want to be available to go out. Just any group. I don't want to do for profit, but at the same time, I don't want to give away for free. Because then, just every time I did, it's not valuable. They have to pay reasonably, and that money could be utilized for community somehow. Yeah, but that is the idea. Anyone else wants to take on? Just, just I'm the poor Shanti son, you probably figured out, but I grew up in the whole, in, in the Ocean City at that house. We moved in 74, actually. Yes. He might have retired 72. But uh, I've seen all these students come and go over the years. In the 70s, it was just hippies. And it really was amazing. <laughs> you see the pictures. Uh, I don't know what else was going on in the house. <laughs> Our house is very open then. The doors were always open. People were walking in and out. Mom was always cooking. There was cooking classes. There was granola and homemade bread and wheatgrass juice. And all that kind of, that's how it was before the store. And uh, this idea with this place, he said December, it actually started um, during Hurricane Sandy. He was evacuated from Ocean City and out my house for four days. And I, you know, he's very uh, type A, so he was driving me crazy. <laughs> but this is what he talked about. He says, I want to. You don't talk to each other. No. <laughs> he wants <laughs> yeah. Because we are prompt. He inherited from me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're the same. But we can accomplish anything. Everything's clean cut, and he is giving rather than receiving. He doesn't want it. Well, his garage is clean. If he, it's so, I don't know, Facebook, I don't have Facebook, but it's all because it's on, my, it's on my basement. Those thousand books, <laughs> <laughs> if you can please give them away, because they're on my basement. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my two daughters are there, Nisha and Maya. They're both in my school, and my wife. Yeah, they're some, come on in, come on in, Nisha and Maya. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, these are the grandkids. 
another two grants certificates. I put the picture yeah. in all the Facebook. This is Nisha and Maya. They are all black belt. Yeah. Second degree. Second degree. Okay. Introduce yourself. Nisha. <laughs> <laughs> I taught them all the yoga position, breathing, meditation, and all philosophy. Now I don't push them. They are grown up. If they want to do, they are on their own. But I taught them everything. Do your friends ask you questions or anything? No. You don't. You don't share yet. <laughs> Some of their teachers know Dad or the students. Oh, okay. Yeah, they yeah, might yeah. My backbone is in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Deepu's backbone is also in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Just continue. Anyone else? Doris. When we moved in 74, Doris and her husband helped us move the refrigerator. Yes. And he was a baby. He was a baby. And it's in Germantown? No. no. Oh, oh, she's here. Oh, she's here. Was down here. Yes. oh, no, I was never here. I was probably I was six. Yes. Jim Bang. Well, you, know. I, 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 you were a year and a half when I went the classes over at the Oh, Art Center. Oh, okay. Culture Art Center. Yes. I came Center. from Philadelphia to Ocean City yes, to right. teach. Yeah. He was only one or two years old. Yes, that's and right. that is how long Doris has come. And now I have, you have been in my life all these years, and I've retired twice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm content that I'm out there with my weeds and in my backyard. And that's yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is your guys' living. As you grow older, you know, genetically, you become younger spiritually. You become more vibrant. Because this body is the best. The real thing, we evolve spiritually and we continue our journey. So this is people who are on the spiritual path, they radiate spark. They don't become dull. People who are, you know, possessive and gain all this, become successful, they are lost. They don't have time. When we went for settlement for this property, the owner, Mr. Gerwitz, he said, oh, I want to hear it from you, and I want, he got all the brochure that I want to have some program at the condo, and I will talk to the committee I haven't heard from. <laughs> so busy. But my point is, people are so busy, they mean well, but they don't spend time. Go time was Michael. Just being with Shanti is the biggest, uh, big blessing and absorb it. And um, I, I think that uh, it's helped me get through everything. everything. It's, uh, it's great. And here you've been glass garage also. Oh, it's a glass garage. Yeah, so that's actually over the years, it's just like several generations went. Yoga, you know, it's a hippie generation then into TM, and then into this woman, then crystal, and subliminal tapes, and we had health food store for 19 years. It went through so many phases. So I feel like Moses. <laughs> 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 so you know, all the changes coming from the mountain. <laughs> yes. Okay, continue. Okay, I'm Georgia, and um, I don't know to start from I am now or from when I first met Shanti. So, um, I know Shanti would be happy to hear this right now. I just recently gave up a job that I had two days a week that I worked 14, 16 hours a day um, for part of what he said to enjoy life because I work a lot. And yes, I'm, I'm a yogi and I have animals and a garden and lots of hobbies, but I don't have much time to enjoy all of those things. So, that's the big step for me. Now I have all this lack of money, but now I'm trying to figure out how not to spend my money in stupid ways. Mm -hmm. 
I met Chauncey's book, and I came home, and I stopped smoking, and I stopped drinking, and I read his book cover to cover, and practiced all his practice, and I knew him. So that was the beginning of my whole thing. I don't drink, I don't smoke from that point on. And I don't see, I don't take many classes from Shanti, but he's always, he's been my first teacher and changed my whole life from what I learned. Thank you very much. And I hear from so many 